Hey guys, it's me, Glitch Games, and welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's YouTube video, we're going to be doing a video on the Boss Bar Message Plugin. Now, the Boss Bar Message Plugin does exactly what the title says. It puts a message up in your Boss Bar upon request. Now, there's a lot of features that you can customize with a lot of flags that you can change in this plugin to make it suitable for your own needs. Now, guys, this is the most up-to-date and best plugin that I could find when I was looking for a plugin for my server. This is the one that I decided on. It hasn't been updated in over for a year now. This is the most up-to-date and best uh, boss bar plugin that I could find because when I was looking around for boss bar plugins, it seems that boss bar plugins don't seem to get updated much and there's not really actually that many good ones out there for some reason because it's not that hard of a thing to do I don't think so I don't understand why there's not more out there but this is the best one that I was able to come across and as you can see I've got that all automated at the top of my screen and we'll show you how you can do that now the automation doesn't actually come with the plugin I'm actually using a second plugin called console scheduler um, to do the scheduling of the things which I will be doing a video on console scheduler very very soon um, so stay tuned for that one guys so basically I'm using console scheduler to schedule the command to run this and it uses absolutely no TPS at all as you can see um, I'm running like I'm running 75 plugins I'm running at 19.97 TPS so it's uh, not a problem with the TPS side of things anyways Jumping over to the plugin page, as you can see, this is made by Nathan G. It hasn't been updated in a while, but it's the best one that I could find at the moment. And um, so we have all of the information. As you can see, there's some beautiful different designs that you can make with all the different color options and color formatting here. It's really nicely laid out on the plugin page with wiki commands and placeholders. Anyways, enough la rambling on. Let me show you how this plugin works. Jumping into the command side of things, you're actually going to want to type boss bar message and then you're going to do the flags. So you go flags, then message. So if you actually chuck that in, um, we do help. You'll see that we get the help on how this works. So you actually got to do send, send, send. There we go. So you do boss bar message send your flags and then your message okay guys so there's four different flags there's the seconds or the time in seconds that the boss bar will stay up uh there is you can actually set a specific player that you send this to so you don't have to do this for your whole server you can do this for a specific player you can change the color of the boss bar and also the style of the boss bar so if we go and we actually do send c for color so these are all abbreviated to the letter and pink and then we type the text yeet that means that you get a nice pink boss bar at the default length with yeet and if you put in two or more boss bars at the same time they'll um, come on top of each other uh, like that so if I put lots of them in they'll just keep on coming down so you always have um, the automated one now in this video as well so that's a really cool feature and the latest one is obviously always at so we've got the color that's pink we can also do s for seconds which we can do five seconds instead of the default 10 and we can also change the type to a possibility of five different things so we can do solid hang on if i can spell solid we can do segmented underscore and then the amount uh, and there's four different amounts to choose from those amounts that you can choose from are 6 10 12 and 20 so if we want to do six you see we now have a segmented one with six 12 once again segmented one with 12 and then obviously 20 probably comes whoops 20 comes pretty obvious it's gonna be 20 so um, one thing that you probably would be, want to be doing with these segmented ones if you've got a segmented one say of 10 or say let's do the six then you're probably going to want to change the seconds to six because that will make it line up with the actual bar itself as you can see now it lines up rather than overlapping there you can put color codes into the message so once again how color codes work is you can look them up so you've got and a and l yeet and then wait no and then you can do and c and l red yeet look i'm just really struggling for ideas of what to put in this title and then here you'll see 
there you go, you've got the yeet and the red yeet. And you can put color codes, so we've got the bold and everything up there. So we can change, so we'll show you all the different colors as well. We've got yellow. Uh, yellow is a nice color. We've got basically all the color codes inside of Minecraft. We'll do one more. Uh, let's try blue. And there you go, you've got blue. So basically all the different colors that you can actually get inside of Minecraft, it will do them for the boss bar. So that's actually really cool. So there's one other little thing that you can do. You can do the P. So uh, the, the P flag. So P dot dot. So we'll do another space and we'll go, there we go. So what this actually does is this will put in a player. So if I actually space my name and then you remove the space here. So if I put my name, you see it's sending me the yeet. Um, but if I was to misspell my name, for example, it'll say player is not online. So I'm actually going to jump on real quick with my alt and show you that it'll show it for the alt, but not me. Okay. So now you can actually see that my alt account, GG, has joined the game here. It's a bit laggy because I'm running like a recording system, Chrome and two Minecrafts right now. But my alt account, GG, has just joined. And you can see we've both got the new Skycade automated one that is being broadcast to everyone. So I'm just going to do a broadcast to everyone without the glitch games just to so show that we're both going to get this. And now I'm going to do a bro broadcast to glitch games to show you only the glitch games one which is the left one we'll get it and now i'm going to send it to just my alt account gg and you'll see that only my alt account gg will get it my alt account gg and here you go only the one on the right has got it there you go so that's uh kind of how that works so that's the player flags so i'm gonna close my alt out again but that, that's how that works that's actually a really cool feature because um you can specify who you're sending it to so if you have got a hacker and you want to still tell them to jump on discord then maybe you could do that i don't know why you would do that there's specific plugins for freezing people <laughs> but m maybe maybe that's just something you'd be you'd be into you'd want to do but yeah so that that's I don't know what you would use that for, honestly, but it's a great feature to have for advertising, new game modes, uh, shop sales, and all sorts of other statistics uh, in the top of your scoreboard. And also, um, one other thing, uh, placeholders do actually work in that as well. So, um, now I'm actually going to show you just, uh, I'm probably going to do a separate video on this plugin sometime later. Um, so I'm not going to go too in depth, but I'm going to show you real quick how I'm animating it. So this is a plugin, this is a plugin called console scheduler and console scheduler will automatically, um, schedule a thing every so often. So we have our bycraft force check, which is honestly too slow with the default plugin. So we've got a bycraft force check that comes in every 20 seconds. And um, that's actually the one that you'll have seen in the last video when I was actually taking that out of the console, the console spam fix. Uh, you should really go check that out if you've got some console spam. It's an amazing way to reduce the spam. But as you can see, we've got our Bycraft force check. Um, not that anyone buys anything on our Bycraft store, but I mean, you can if you want. <laughs> so you've got here we have our four different messages command. Uh, two, three, four, and five. And these have to be in order. And then you've got the intervals and then the command. So that's basically how that works. And you've got that on repeat. And so that's, that's basically how that works in the crisp of things. There's lots of different features on that plugin that I would go over if I did another video. Which will probably come out oh, maybe in a, within the month depending on if we get any requests on it. If we get any requests on it, I will speed the production of that one out. But that's a pretty cool plugin. You should go check that out. Um, I'll have a video on that out soon anyways guys that's all for today's video i hope you enjoyed today's youtube video make sure you smash the like button and subscribe and turn post notifications on i <coughs> i can't talk sorry um anyways guys i hope you enjoyed today's youtube video i'll be back on thursday for another plugin tutorial and i'll see you guys bye goodbye why are you still watching bye bye bye
Bloody Nora!